Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take control of Chrome's extensions by using the Extension Manager. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, in today's video, we're going to learn how to take control of our extensions using the new flag option in the Google Extension Toolbar menu. Now this is enabled by going into the flag section of Google Chrome and we'll go to the PC now and I'll show you how to enable it and how it might work for you. Okay, so first of all, let's open up our Google Chrome tab. And as you can see at the moment in the top corner here, we've got our extensions which are enabled, which for some of you, if you've got a lot of extensions, then this could be uh, quite a stretch along here. So what we're gonna try and do is to reduce the clutter up here and also add an easy shortcut so that we can edit our extensions and all those kinds of things. So what we need to do is to go into the flag section. So we'll type in Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. Hit enter. And here we are now. As it says, these are experimental flags in here. And by enabling these features, you could lose data or compromise your security or privacy. Um, basically, go ahead at your own risk. So the first thing to do is we want to find the extension manager. So type in extension or start typing it. And at the top here, we get our extensions toolbar menu. So as it says, this is to enable a separate toolbar button and the menu for extensions. This works with Mac, Windows, Linux, Chrome OS. So change from default to enabled. And then in the bottom corner, we'll get our option to relaunch the browser. So this time, take notice of this section up here in the top right hand corner and we'll click on relaunch. And as you can see, we've got a whole lot more room up here, a little bit neater, a little bit tidier. And now we've got our extensions logo. So if we click on extensions, so now we get access directly to our extensions. So as you can see, we've got ad blocker, we've got our honey browser, we've got pouch, which is also for coupons, same as Honey. And we've also got our TubeBuddy extension. So what you can do, if there's one of these that you particularly use a lot, say for instance, in my particular case, I'll be using TubeBuddy quite a lot. So I can go ahead and click on the pin extension. And then it's, as you can see at the top now, now we've got the TubeBuddy directly accessible. And also we've got the rest of the extensions hidden away in this kind of sub menu. So what you can actually also do is gain quick access to the settings. So we can click on the three dots here for more actions. And then you can go into TubeBuddy directly. You can unpin it, remove, or manage the extensions. So all the options are there. You can go straight in to do that. Or alternatively, rather than going into all these things here, Chrome, and then type in extensions, you can literally just click on that, click on manage extensions, and then you get straight access to all of your extensions and all that kind of stuff. So rather than typing in Chrome colon four slash four slash extensions, you can just click on that button and gain quick access. Again, you can go into these now and you can click on details to see what parts of the browser they've actually got access to and all those kinds of things. You can change all your settings and do what you want to do. But this actually is making life a little bit easier. Also, it declutters a little bit. And due to the fact that it is at the moment an experimental feature, it's quite likely it will wing its way into future versions of Chrome. So there we go, there is the experimental extensions menu toolbar or quick access feature in Google Chrome. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of it? Is it gonna be useful for you? Is it one of those things which is gonna tidy up your browser a little bit? Or is it something which you don't really need? If you're one of those people that uses a lot of extensions, then hopefully it's gonna be really useful to you. If the video has been useful, then give us a thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe and the chime icon to get more content like this into your subscription feed. So in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll be catching you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.